Uh huh. Okay. So um, there's a story. I saw this, bro. This happened close to where I live. Crazy. So there's um, uh, three arrested for murder of 19 year old KIMC student, Purity Wangeshi. So, huh. Okay. So basically, so I'm, mm-hmm. let me just read what happens, you know, briefly. Yeah. And I'm reading this off uh, Nairobi Gossip. Mm-hmm. Um, so police officers have arrested the suspects behind the murder of 19-year-old. This baby was 19. That's a man. child. Kenya Institute of Mass Communication student Purity Wangeshi, the mastermind. Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> Why is this person using my name like this? <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> the context is different. So the mastermind, mm-hmm. John Wanyoike Kibu, Kibungi, who's 24. Fucking kid, bro. Two of his accomplices were arrested at their hideout in Kirigiti in the wee hours of Sunday morning as they prepared to escape. And uh, huh, so this is what Nairobi Gossip... Pre- ah, yeah. So anyway, so according, according to the DCI Kenya, you, uh, this is the Twitter page, mm-hmm. they say uh, they were smoked out of their hide- hideout in Kirigiti in the morning uh, following a manhunt that was launched by a combined team of detectives and general duty police officers based at Kiambu. Mm-hmm. Also arrested were two of his accomplices, Kanaya Kamau and Brandon Mushiri. Mm-hmm. Uh, who assisted him in killing the 19-year-old college student and disposing her body. Purity Wangeshi's body, which bore visible stab wounds and strangulation marks, was discovered yesterday morning by the roadside close to Mburiria Estate in Kiambu. So Wangeshi had fallen in love with a killer and they had been in a relationship for some time before she discovered that he was a thug. She confronted him about, about it leading to a misunderstanding between the two. She, however, didn't know that her lover was determined to cover his tracks by eliminating her. So on Friday, Wangeshi left the country's premier media institute to meet him in Kirigichi and try to rekindle the dying embers of their once blossoming love. Oh, this is the same guy. The hey. story, you know. I just give you the... No, me, so, I hate him. What do you mean? <laughs> Classic <laughs> composition know, type shit. No. No. So she did not know that she was walking into a dead trap. Mm. During the early morning raid, the officers also recovered a vegetable knife that was Con- carefully concealed in his uh, waistband and which was used in stabbing the innocent teenage student, whose only mistake was falling in love with a thug. The detectives also discovered that the scene of the murder, no, they discovered the scene of the murder and preserved it for forensic examination by crime scene personnel based at the DCI. Meanwhile, the three suspects have been placed in custody for the offense of murder contrary to section 203 as read with section whatever, whatever. So anyway, even for these kids... Congratulations. Congratulations. You, you played, played yourself. yourself. They'll never see freedom Man. again, bro. I mean, she like that, that's, that's, that's unfortunate. It's a wrap for them. Mm. Hey, but now I'm just thinking. Um, this is a 19 year old, bro. Uh, sorry. Nothing. So this is a 19 year old murdered by the boyfriend, boyfriend or ex boyfriend. Mm. Uh, just because maybe, so I'm assuming probably after they arrested these guys, maybe phones, whatever, whatever information they had to get yeah. to understand what was going on. But. Is it is it ever this serious, bro? Exactly. What what is that guy into, Kwani? That he had to cover his tracks with. That's a, that's like, the same thing you're asking. Because so I'm, I'm like, thinking, uh, if it's you know petty things we made by by here, does that need cover up? You understand? Like, was he murdering people? Was he you know? How was dumb, he like? How dumb are the two friends also? How do you help someone kill and and dispose a body? Because you don't know how much information she knows. You could you know maybe this guy thinks. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, total information. So it's like, hey, my guys, mm. she might also know about you and you. So, fuck, yeah. So maybe they were in the same gang. Mm-hmm. And maybe the guys who terrorized people. Maybe and maybe it was forceful. Yeah. So if they have records and she knows. I think for them it's just no face, no case. Yeah. yeah. That's unfortunate, though. Very. It's very unfortunate. And look at their age, bro. So the, 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 the baby is 19, bro. She's in uni, dead. Like, just murdered like that. These kids are 24 years old, bro. Yeah, yeah. I hope she gets justice, man. I, I hope she does I get... Have, yeah, but, but it seems like they have, like, a handful of evidence. Yeah. But let me ask you. Yeah. Is there ever justice when it comes to murder, though? Because you, you can't bring back life. Yeah. No amount, no amount of money can, can sufficiently compensate. Back. It's like, think about someone you really love and care for. How much money would they need to compensate you or their families for yeah. you to feel like this was... This, this it's is okay, justice. it's a justification. Yeah. Yeah. At least, you know, it's, it's first of all, just putting the person behind it, behind bars, is mostly more or less the biggest thing. Putting them away for life, even better. 
Um, the money maybe goes a long way if the family was struggling. Um, I wouldn't say like the you can you can compensate for human life, mm. but it eases the burden. You know, it eases. The, it doesn't bring back things to what they were, mm. but it eases the burden. If maybe the family was struggling, mm. or they needed some money to you know just continue. I don't know how the courts calculate it or whatever. Exactly, I was just about to yeah. ask that. Like when you say compensation, how yeah. much are we talking? It's never like a lot of money, and and there's no difference between one million or two hundred million shillings when it comes to like a life yeah, of a loved life. one. That's true. And and, and and if you the the family if you can't afford it, what happens? Mm. If oh, okay, if the court says now x amount of money, right? So who's supposed to pay the money? The parents of this this boy. Guess what? We how does this work? No idea. Please, someone who understands law, or maybe we can we can. Don't understand. say anything. Just to good. Ah, don't worry. Next time, next time, let's have the adapter because we'd have yeah, brought our lawyer friends. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that makes sense. But but yeah. Uh, so where do you guys stand mm -hmm. with the death penalty for murder for for people who are convicted with murder? Just kidding. by convicted, I mean there's been proof beyond reasonable doubt that they actually murdered people. Where do you stand with the death sen sen sentence for these people? Does it yeah. fit the crime? Hmm. Me, yeah, I'm, I'm always, I'm, all, I'm team death penalty to be honest. It's an a, eye for an eye a, and a tooth for a tooth. Mm. It's a gray area for me. It's a gray mm, area. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> if you're comfortable enough to take someone's life, I believe the same should be given back to you. Mm. Yeah, that's that's just how I, that's just how I see it. Whew, honestly, uh huh. Have you ever had someone close to you murdered? Not murdered, murdered. Oh, murdered. Yeah. Murder. Has anyone here had someone close to them murdered? Yes. You have. Is this something you can talk about? Yes. Please pass me the mic. Because mm. cause I'm like, um, even when, when, when it comes to, like, even thieves and nini. Mm. When it came. Yeah. <laughs> when it came. <laughs> <laughs> when it came. <laughs> when it came to. Of course, muna jua yona jua. Sijuka nini muna ni press over small things. Of course, muna jua yona jua. Ngekwa ni wadi enye. Ngekwa ni wadi enye. Sijuka mungi ni press. Simple words like him. When he came. Same last for best. So they lay me mongumu. Kama kizungu ka chanzi. Yeah, so it was my uncle. Alikuwa na city in Mombasa. So like the side chick now. After I find out my uncle is married. Ali crack. Kachoma nyumba. And they all died. Both of them. Both of them. Which is a murder suicide. Yeah. Damn. Crime right. of passion. Mm. Hmm. Just mad. So, oh, so, sorry so. for your loss. <clears throat> Compassion. I was just gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I just had questions. No, no. Yeah, I'm terribly sorry for that. But so in this situation, what happens? Because see, again, we are apparently properties of the state. Mm. And I think no? that's a done deal. And that's that. It was. It's a case closed. Am I? What happens now? Yeah, because it's still ongoing. Nah. It just because the because the, the murderer. Yeah, he's also dead. I guess that's just like. Jeez. In a month. This is this is this is this is uh, yeah, this is crazy, bro. I'm just I'm just thinking, and also I'm like sometimes I really ask a lot of questions. I'm like, so this 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 girl. Basically, she was just she just loved the wrong person, Imagine. literally, and then it cost you everything, cost her life, cost her everything, and hmm. I'm just like I'm just wondering what I'm just trying to be in her in her shoes, like especially in her final moments. You know, imagine going to your boyfriend because you have issues just to go trying to, to sort it out. Then he yeah. kills you, and then even the, how she, she just killed her, bro. This, this must have been so painful. Stabbing you know, how, how many times do you need to stab someone until they're dead? <laughs> Can you imagine if Mariah was like, um, so now when it comes to study, maybe, maybe like, hey, 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 make sure you focus on the, nah, I wouldn't know. But I've read stories of if you cut someone on the thigh, they can bleed out. Really? But yeah, you're not bleeding out until you die, before, before you die, bro. But how deep does that cut have to be? It has to be super that's deep. Because I mean, after it's just like nyama. The thyroid, the, the, there's like a artery upper that supplies yeah. to the leg, blood to the leg. You know, you know where our bias correct. normally kicks in mm -hmm. is when some of these things are very close to you. When it happens, when it when it hits home, yeah, then you start it's... to realize how biased you can be. That's yeah. true. Like it's your perspective on these things just changes. You know, cause bro, if someone killed like your parent, am I your sibling? Mm. And you know, like you have proof that this is the people. Yeah, you know how fucked up that is going to be, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Malai is just uh, killing. <laughs> let me listen. Even if it was somebody that I know. Who killed somebody else? Mm. Me, listen, just yeah. I think the only problem with the death penalty is when, sorry, 
I'll remember what I wanted to say. Yeah. So there's a there's a story I had. Uh, you know when you have a brother, uh, you go clubbing at night, and then um sana kujana and I'm going on a gari, a laugh on a hepa. So CCTV uh, your club ili chukwa namba plate. So those people, how kwa kwa police? They track the guy mwenyali. Speak on the mic, speak. Okay. Yeah, so waka check CCTV ya kwa namba plate. They tracked him, waka, waka mfotadi kejani, waka mchukua. And then waka naka mada. What? They killed him, yeah. Well, those are two murders now. Yeah, those are two murders now. Our, our, our Congratulations. Congratulations. What? You played yourself. <laughs> Everyone on today's episode is just now. Like the Aye. But, hey, okay. But the law is a bit weird. You know, like, someone like that could get away with it. I think so. No. I'm not too sure. No. 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 You You're only get away with murder take... if it's self-defense. Exactly. Oh, okay. But premeditated, if it's premeditated, you're undone. You yeah. Are I quote that one is... is but what, what if you argue we planned, emotional we... distress? You can't, I wasn't no. thinking Mother, Then that, your case is dropped. Bro, they take you for you know psychiatric easy it would be for someone. But even though, why that could never cut is, do you know how easy it would be for people to just kill people and say emotional distress? That's, That's why that can never pass. You're psychiatric evaluation. Mm. Even if they did. It's weird. Premeditated. Like, yo, we track this person down. One, we only we, what all, what we had is number plates. Mm. Found out who the car who owns the car. Maybe track where they live. Uh, finally got a hold of them movement. and then it's took them away. Mad, 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 took, uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, are gone. You're gone. You're gone, you're 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 gone, 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 you're you're gone for, forever. Is it someone you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see. Like no snitching on yeah. camera. Yes. No, unfortunately, it's just how the law works. Is yeah. whether it's someone you really care for or regardless of how you feel, if it's not self defense. Yeah. Just go to the po- just, just go to go the police. police. Yeah. Because if you, if you act, yeah. um, you know, out of the emotion and mm. you murdered somebody, you're also in. Yeah. Mm. Forever. And unfortunately, just how the law works. Uku wakuna tit for tat. When it comes to the law, it doesn't apply. Yeah. Especially when it comes to murder. Got it. <sighs>